Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. We're expecting Enfer. So Enfer, just want to get this out of the way, is actually rated as tier 0, being top tier. Okay, in the thumbnail, I was asking you guys if she is worth it. Yes, she is. I'm going to put it out of the way. But, 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 we're going to take a look at why. Okay, because some players just, you know, summon these characters, these, these, these sinners, without even understanding why they're tier zero, why they're very good. So we're going to take a look at her video first and see um, a little bit of something about her, just a hint of what she can do. Ooh. <laughs> he came to my heart. So her specialty is basically on fear. So she provides technically a another, you know, another mechanic in her playstyle. Um she's in a category that belongs to some of the healers. Um, and also debuffers and buffers. So she belongs in that category. Okay, so here is kind of a preview of her skills. So her attack range going first on the top is... It's a bit... It's a bit um, wide and also long. Kind of a medium range in terms of how she attacks. So for her normal attack, so she is going to be of magic damage. So take note of that. Um, she adds to, you know, if you want to build a magic team, magic damage, ma magic damage team, she is going to be part of it. She's definitely going to be part of it. Next is her ultimate. So it's going to be dark submersion. Enfer puts a specific sinner on submerged state. So she's technically going to be buffing that sinner. Gains a certain damage boost. So damage boost during this period releases for fear ripples. Temporarily terrifying all enemies in the 3x3 three three square around. The three fear ripples will be released in total. Okay, so my question is what do these fear ripples do? Probably... Um, additional damage. I just want to pursue, uh, presume. So we'll have to find out during the reveal of her skill. So again, she's going to be, um, a, I think, a mix of a debuffer and a buffer. So for her passive horrific mark, adds horrific mark to an enemy they, when they are terrified. So they have to be submerged. Uh, lasting for a certain for a certain seconds. If an allied sinner is in the grid before. Enfer, at the start of the battle, the sinner will deal a certain percentage more damage to enemies with horrifying mark throughout the entire battle. So, ideally, she's going to be uh, deployed. Um, lastly, you should be able to have sinners in the field so that the sinner will gain a percentage or a, or a certain percentage of increased damage. Okay, and it's also throughout the battle. Take note of that. And... Insanity, when terrified, an enemy suffers a percentage of Enfer's attack, magic, damage. So, that is it. So, again, she's a mix of buffs and debuffs, which I think is interesting because currently we do have um, buffs already. Um, we do have, uh, what do you call this? We do have um, increase in, in attack speed already, courtesy of another sinner. So for her, it's really a mix. Fear ripples. I assume that this is going to be a debuff. Terrifying. But again, there are no details on what she's going to do. Again, both. She does both buff and debuff. Buffing damage and fear for probably debuff. Okay. So initial attribute. A sinner who is adept at distracting enemies. Restores energy when enemies are terrified. The effect has a cooldown and mana intensification. Energy recovery speed increases by a certain percentage. And her um, exclusive crime brand is going to be all enemies within a, a 
single grid suffer a certain percentage of end first attack so again debuff so taking more attack Magic damage by Enfer, core damage, and certain seconds of terror. After an enemy's course is broken with the ultimate, the terror effect spreads to all enemies. Can all be can only be made once in a battle. So again, she provides a different um dynamic now. Um, she provides more of an attack buff or increase in damage once your um your uh teammates attack or fellow sinners attack so she applies it to a i think to a bro a, a broader you know a broader um what they call this a broader grid than the buffs of other sinners so again i think she's worth it really um again with these types of sinners especially if they're uh, they're tier zero they're usually used mostly in mid game and end game so again if you are considering her you better save up because her banner will land soon i think it's going to be on the 17th if i'm not mistaken uh please correct me if i'm wrong um you have time to save up for those who didn't pull for demon's banner i bet you guys have saved up already for enfer and you have to save up more. So that is it, guys. Again, thoughts on Enfer. What do you think of her? Will you be getting her? And those things. So put them down in the comment section. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here.